The rule of law crisis poses a serious threat to the functioning of the European Union. There are a number of legal and policy measures in the EU which depend on the mutual trust between the member states. An example of that is the European Arrest Warrant, which is a legal mechanism which allows a judicial authority in one country to request the extradition of an individual suspected of having committed a crime or convicted of having committed a crime by asking directly a counterparty in a judicial authority of another member state to execute the warrant. Now, what happens to the European arrest warrant uh, in case a member state of the European Union starts suffering uh, of a serious rule of law crisis? The question was at the heart of the case decided in the spring of 2018 by the High Court of Ireland, the Selimer case. Mr. Selimer was a Polish national who was residing in Ireland, and a Polish court had requested a European arrest warrant to an Irish judge demanding that Mr. Selimer be sent back to Poland to face trial. Now, the Irish High Court essentially faced the question whether it was okay to execute the European arrest warrant and send Mr. Selmer back to Poland, given the state of the rule of law in Poland as certified by the European Commission opinion, starting an Article 7 procedure against that country. So the Irish High Court decided to suspend the case and to refer the matter to the European Court of Justice, uh, which in 2018 delivered a major ruling on this matter in a case that came to be known as the LM case. Essentially, in its ruling, the European Court of Justice uh, said that it is a responsibility of the Irish judge to verify what is the state of the rule of law in Poland, the country that was requesting the execution of the European arrest warrant. But at the same time, the European Court of Justice also said that the Irish judge had to determine specifically and precisely whether there are substantial grounds for believing that the extradition of Mr. Selmer to Poland would pose a threat to his fundamental right, and specifically the right to a fair trial. At the same time, the European Court of Justice instructed the Irish judge to request information from his Polish peers in case he or she had doubts on the state of the rule of law in that country. Now, on the basis of this judgment of the European Court of Justice, eventually the Irish High Court decided to execute the arrest warrant, therefore sending Mr. Selmer back to Poland. Nevertheless, the ruling of the ECJ is being interpreted differently by other courts across the member states. Hence, for example, in May 2020, the Supreme Court of Cassation of Italy uh, decided to quash a judgment by a court of appeal and remand the case, effectively saying that the decision to authorize the transfer of an individual from Italy to Poland on the basis of a European arrest warrant was not acceptable given the state of the rule of law crisis uh, in that country. Therefore, it is clear that the diminution in the protection of rights and threats to the rule of law in countries of the EU do pose a significant threat to the functioning of a number of important legal and policy measures that have been adopted in the European Union.